This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay. okay, everyone. We are uh, here in preparation of Parshas Shemois Habalino Latoiva. And we'd like to begin by wishing a very big mazel tov to the Gedalowitz family who is sponsoring today's shir um, as Hakar Satoiv for the birth of two twin grand boys, grandchildren. And we wish the whole Gedalowitz family mazel tov and good health and nachas and the shrizoicha legadlam letoira lechopo lemasim toivim. So, Parsha Shemais Vayoymer, Biadoini, Moshe Rabbeinu says, Ribanisham, wrong man, you got the wrong guy. Shlach no biyad tishlach, send it through a good messenger, Don't, not me. What do I have to do with this? I'm not cut out for the job. And of course Rashi says, that Moshe Rabbeinu was referring to Aaron. You've been sending Aaron until now. Aaron has been your Navi until now. Why don't you have him take the Jewish people out of Mitzrayim? And if you look in the Tarim Yonasem Ben Uziel, Tarim Yonasem Ben Uziel says, Shlach no biyad tishlach, Shlach no biyad mishen nishtalcha besoif yoimaya v'hu pinchas. Eliyah Navi anyway is going to take us out of the, the, this Golos, so why doesn't he take us out of Mitzrayim? However, what we are going to learn today is a new pshat. A pshat you never heard of before. And that is from the Oisio Yisdu Rebbe Akiva. Oisio Yisdu Rebbe Akiva is an ancient medrash which is very hard to come by. It's also found in the medrash Hagadol. It's also found in something called medrash Avkir. And I was actually uh, searching for this medrash. Many Achorinim quote it without saying where they got it from. And courtesy of Professor Schneer Lyman, he was able to locate it for me. And uh, it's in the Oisio Yisdu Rebbe Akiva. It says, Ba'isasha, at that time, Ra Moshe Mazal Yisho Rabbi Akiva. Moshe saw the future Mazal of Rabbi Akiva befargut shal makom in the curtain of God shal yoyshe v'doyresh oisio yoyshal Torah. He was sitting and darshening the letters of the Torah. I'll call tage, call ois for ois on all the crowns of letters. Oimer all of gimel mez v'shishem ei tamei Torah. Every little crown of the Torah of Akiva had three hundred and sixty-five drashas. Moshe began to shudder. This is not my job. I'm going to take the Jews out of Mitzrayim. This man could say 365 shiurim on one crown. I can't take them out of Egypt. I can't give them the Torah. And by the way, if you look in the Medrash Hagadol, also, when Hashem revealed Himself to Moshe in the Sna, He showed him Dar Dar and its Parnasim, Dar Dar V'chal Kalav, Dar Dar V'chachamav, Ad Sharabi Akiva V'chachmasay, Amr Bevadei Royu Shetinasim Gulal Yazay. If I could ask, all cell phones need to be off and off the table. Please. No cell phones apparent. Thank you. So, the, the Medrash says in two places, that <laughs> the matter says in two places that Shlach no biyat tishlach is not Aaron, not Pinchas, but rather Rabbi Akiva. So you say, Rabbi, I heard this before. Don't tell me something. I heard this before. It's a famous Gemara Menachas. First of all, that's not what the Gemara Menachas says. The Gemara Menachas says that Moshe Rabbeinu wanted Rabbi Akiva. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Moshe Rabbeinu wanted Rabbi Akiva to give the Torah. But don't, we don't find anywhere in Shas that Moshe Rabbeinu wanted Rabbi Akiva to take Klal Yisrael out of Mitzrayim. This is a Chiddush. <laughs> what? Isn't that an anachronism? Rabbi Akiva's... No, right? Yeah, in other words, Moshe Rabbeinu felt Rabbi Akiva was more worthy to give the Torah. The Chiddush of the Medrash is Moshe Rabbeinu didn't even want to take us out of Mitzrayim. He wanted Rabbi Akiva to do the job of taking us out of Mitzrayim. And according to the Medrash, both of his, both of his requests of let him do the job are alluded to in the words, Shlach Nabi Atishlach. In other words, that which the Gemara Menachah says, let Rabbi Akiva give the Torah, we had Chazal. In what words of Moshe Rabbeinu was Moshe Rabbeinu saying to the Rabbanu Shalom, Rabbanu Shalom, let Rabbi Akiva give the Torah, that is alluded to in the words, Shlachna Biyad Tishlach. Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Amar Rav, Bisha Sha'ala Moshe Lamarim, the Gemara says. When Moshe went up to Shemayim, Matzah Le'Kadosh Baruch Hu, he saw God. 
Sheyoshev Vekoshar Ksarim Leoises, that he was tying crowns to the letters of the Torah. Amar Lefanov, Ribbana Shalolam, Mi Ma'akev Al Yadcha. He said, God, who is going to prevent me? In other words, Ribbana Moshe Rabbeinu says to God, you, you are, your knowledge of the Torah is, is so incomprehensible. There's a man by the name of Akiva Yosef who's going to be in many generations. Show him to me. Hashem showed him to Moshe. Moshe Chalisha Sadash. So Moshe says to Hashem. What are you giving me the Torah through me? Amar lai shesayk. That's my ratzon. So this is a very well known thing. The Moshe Rabbeinu wanted the Torah to be given to Rabbi Akiva, but I guarantee you, you never heard before that Moshe Rabbeinu. Uh, please turn off the phone. We don't find anywhere. We don't. We don't find anywhere. We don't find anywhere that Moshe Rabbeinu wanted Rabbi Akiva. To, get, to take us out of Mitzrayim. That we don't find anywhere. And the question is, why does Moshe Rabbeinu Dafka want Rabbi Akiva to take us out of Mitzrayim? Why Rabbi Akiva? Why specifically him No, and nobody else? Okay, so that's what we would like to investigate today. Now we go to the Haggadah Shal Pesach. And the Haggadah Shal Pesach we say like this. Ve'ilu lo'yhoitzi ha'kadosh baruch ha'sav Mitzrayim. If Hashem would not have taken Klal Yisrael out of Mitzrayim, Harei Anu, Uvanenu, Uvanei Vanenu, Meshubadim, Hayinu, Lafarai, the Mitzrayim. If God had not taken us out of Egypt, we would still be there. The question is, what is that supposed to mean? We would still be there. No ancient empire today still exists. We're going to say, no, nobody is still under the auspices of the ancient Romans, the Greeks, the Phoenicians. They're all gone. So what's that supposed to mean? And... Then the mission says, "Vafilu kulano chachamim, kulano nevoinim, kulano zekenim, kulano yoydim esatayra." The Haggadah says, "Mitzvah aleinu lesaper v'itzias mitzrayim." It's a mitzvah to talk about the leading of mitzrayim. Chalamar v'lesaper is a mishpach. And the question is, why would you think that if somebody is smart, he doesn't need to talk about yitzias mitzrayim? Just the opposite. The smarter you are, the more you know, the more you could darshan, the more you could speak, the more insight you could give. Why would you think, even if you're a Nava and a Zakein, then you're exempt from the mitzvah? Okay. We find an amazing thing. The Tikkun Isaiah says, how many times in the Chumash does it say, Yitzias Mitzrayim? You ever count? 90 times it says it. It says 90 times you'd see us in time. But the Tikkun Isaiah doesn't say that. Tikkun Isaiah doesn't say how many times it says. Tikkun Isaiah says, The Chamishim Amar Kadesh Baruch Hu Amran Leisrael, Chamishim Zimnin Itkir Ba'iraisa you'd see us in time. Even though it says it 90 times, Tikkun Isaiah says, it says 50 times in the Torah you'd see us in time. So the Gra, in his commentary to Tikkun Isaiah, asks, but it says 90 times. And you're thinking, who cares, 50, 90? No, it makes a big difference. I'm talking about some time, 50. Sure. Says the Gra. We're only counting... Yeah, yes, the Gra says, it says it 90 times. Yesh tishim pa'amim lashon ha'itza. Avo le'chashiv ki'im oisan sha'amar ha'kadosh baruch hu la'amran li'yisrael. The only times the Zoyar is counting are the times that Hashem told Moshe to tell Klal Yisrael. So 50 times in the Torah... Hashem told Moshe to tell Klal Yisrael about Yitzhiya Mitzrayim. What, and the Gra goes on to enumerate all 50 times. <laughs> okay? So you'll take his word for it. That 50 <laughs> times in the Torah, it says, Moshe told Klal Yisrael, B'Shem Hashem, Yitzhiya Mitzrayim. What's the significance of that? Arizal tells us, and it's quoted by the Beis HaLevi in Parshish Boy, Huva B'Shem Kudosh Hashem Hari, if we would have left, uh, remained in Mitzrayim for a moment longer, we would have fallen to the 50th level of Tamah, and we never would have come out. The Arizal is Megala to us. There's something called the point of no return. That point of no return is the 50th level of Tamah. 
And we were there. We were almost, we were on the brink. We are on the brink of disappearing. Had we been there a moment longer, we would have fallen out forever. By the way, you should know, our Chaim HaKadr says, that after the Torah was given, you could fall to the 50th and come out. But before the Torah was given, there's no way, because the Torah could take you out. Could be today we, we were there. <laughs> but, I don't know. We don't have any thermometer, you know. Now you could get the exogen thermometer. You just scan the forehead. So we don't have that. We don't have any of that. We can't, we don't have uh, tumor barometers. But even if we were there, it's still possible to come out. But in Mitzrayim, if we would have reached the 50th level of tumor, we would have fallen to the point of no return. There's a passing in Eoiv that says, Techol yikar ra'asa enoi. And all preciousness his eyes saw. Says the Medrash in Bamidba Rabbah, Uksiv ela hadvarim asisim vleyazavtim esa inksiv ela asisim. Listen carefully. Shekvar asisi the Rabbi Akiva the Chaverav dvarim shle niglu lemoisha niglu the Rabbi Akiva the Certain things that were not revealed to Moshe were revealed to Rabbi Akiva. Bechol yikar rasa inoy ze Rabbi Akiva the Chaverav. That Rabbi Akiva saw everything, Moshe didn't see everything. Now that's a very big chiddush to say, that um, there are things that Rabbi Akiva saw that Moshe didn't see. Now what didn't Moshe know? Well, come Navi, come Moshe be Yisrael. Navi. Navi. But there are Torah <coughs> that Moshe did not know and Rabbi Akiva knew. Now, what did Rabbi Akiva know and not Moshe? Well, all we know is there's a Gemara Rosh Hashanah that says, Chamishim, Shari, Bina, Nivru ba'ilam. The chulam nidna la Moshe chasar achas. There are 50 <coughs> levels of wisdom. Moshe had all except for one. one. So if Moshe, the only thing we know he was missing was the 50th level of wisdom, and we know Rabbi Kiva saw everything, even what Moshe didn't have, it seems like Moshe, that Rabbi Kiva knew the 50th level of wisdom. I mean, that's by the simple power of deduction. Moshe Rabbeinu only didn't know the 50th. And Rabbi Akiva was kol yakar ra'asa. You know, he saw everything. So then, presumably, Rabbi Akiva knew the 50th. And in fact, Rav Shmuel Vital writes in the Shar Mamori Razal that Moshe Rabbeinu did not achieve the 50th and Rabbi Akiva got the 50th. Says the Chida, and I'm giving you a little sneak preview. That's why the Pasuk says, V'chol yekar ra'asa enoi. Rabbi Kiva saw kol. Kol is begamachia 50. Kaf lamed. Rabbi Kiva saw 50. Moshe only saw 49. Rabbi Kiva saw 50. <coughs> he didn't get it. He only got 49. I wasn't there. I don't have it. But that's what happened. That's what... Rishmo Vital says, Moshe only had, well, that's what the Gemara says in Rosh Hashanah. There are 50 gates of wisdom. Kula nitna le Moshe, chasar achas. But Moshe Rabbeinu saw all this by the Senate or when he went to Yeah, by the Senate, right? All this illusion. It doesn't mean he was on this level by the Senate, but he knew Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva would reach the level of 50th. And then Moshe Abenu wouldn't, so he said, Rabbi Kiva is greater than me, let him take us out of Mitzrayim. But we still haven't explained yet. There, no. What? He's not there, Rabbi Kiva. Uh, so create him and then let him take. What do I have to do for the job? <laughs> yeah. what, do you, what, what, do you, what, what do you create me for to take the job? At? Now the Chidah writes something very amazing that the 50 times that it says Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim in the Chomesh. The 50 times corresponds to the 49 levels of Tumah that Hashem had to take us out of. In other words, if we're sunk into 49 levels of Tumah, how many Yitzhiyos do we need? So, the Chidah says, now the Chidah says it a little bit differently, because the Chidah says the 50 levels of Yitzhiyos Mitzrayim are... Kaminyan Yuvla. Yuvla is the Gematria 49. 49 to 49. So you but you could say. Chamushim could also be read Kamishim. Okay. 
12 is a chidah. But the uh, number 12 is a chidah in the Dvash Lafi. But, but the 15 that, that, the, yeah. that the Gorsats uh, you know, counted yeah. was all before the Yitzhiya? Or, or Over the course, that? throughout Kala Tarakula. So. No, it's re- it's referenced to fifty elements, fifty dimensions of the yitzia. Each one, of course. Uh, but the, the chida learns that the chamishim is the site of yuvla, which is forty nine. But you could say like this: the way we're going to say it is that in order to take us out of Mitzrayim, we needed forty nine to take us out of the forty nine levels of toma, and one has to put us in kedusha. I mean, you can't just be in no man's land. But that's the idea. The idea is somehow, in order to get us out of Mitzrayim, we had to be removed from the 49 levels of Torah. And that's why it says Yitzhiyat Mitzrayim 50 times. Says the Chida, Moshe Rabbeinu maybe had an inkling of the 50. That's and we spoke out many times. That's why the Gemara says, they were all given to Moshe except for one. Just say he was given 49. Why does it, why does it say he was given 50 except for one? That implies he at one time had 50 and maybe one was taken away from him by the Cheir HaEgel, Lech Raid, go down from Lech, which is 50, but at the end, at the end of his life he got it back, Har Nevoi, Nun Boy, but that's a different shmuz for a different time. But Moshe Rabbeinu never had the level of Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva was V'chol Yikar Ra'as Ha'inoi. He saw all 50. Says the Chida, Oyem and he says this in his Haggadah. Here, Klal Yisrael is in Mitzrayim. And Hashem says to Moshe, Moshe, this is the Haggadah, the Chidah, the Haggadah, Simcha Saraga. He says like this, Klai says in Mitzrayim, and Hashem says, Moshe, take him out! Moshe says, what do you mean take him out? It's not time yet, we've got to be there 400 years! Hashem says, no, if they're going to be there one moment longer, they're going to fall into the level of 50. And if they fall into the level of 50, you can't take them out! Because you're only on level 49. And if you're on level 49, you can only schlep them out of the 49 levels. So that's why you need to take them out early. So Moshe Rabbeinu says, no problem. Shlach no biyat tishlach. Let Rabbi Akiva take them out. Let them stay 400 years. Let them sink into the level of 50. And Rabbi Akiva was on the level of 50. He could schlep them out. That's the back and forth between the Rav Shalom and Moshe Rabbeinu. Hashem says, Moshe, if we stay for a minute longer, they're going to fall to the point of no return. You're not great enough to get them out of 50. You're only great enough to take them out of 49. So you have to take them out. Moshe Rabbeinu says, let them stay another 190 years. Who's going to take them out? Shlach no biyat tishlach. Rabbi Akiva will do the job. What am I waiting? Yeah, that's not that. Moshe Rabbeinu says, get the wrong guy. Bring Rabbi Akiva here and he'll take him out. That's the back and forth between the brothers. Oh, shlach ends in a ches. No, ends in an aleph. Biyad tishla. Biyad ends in a dalid. Soifei tevis echad. Who died saying the word echad? Rabbi Akiva, get the echad guy in here. He'll do the job. We don't have to do it now. There's no rush. Let, let them stay. Oh, shlach no, biyad tishla. Roshay Tevais, Shin Nun Beis. What's Shin Nun Beis? Shin Nun Beis Tav. Shlach No Biat Tishlach. That's Nishbas. Nun Share Bina Tav. And then we could be here for 400 years. <laughs> nun Share Bina Tav. What's the problem, Rebunshev? Why are you in such a rush? Because I'm not great enough? Good. Let Rabbi Kiva do the job. But Moshe would let the Bene Yisrael stay for another 190 years on that uh, suffering. Uh, he didn't want to do the job. Uh, anyway, uh, Hashem is Rachmanos. Anyway, we had to do make up the time now and overtime in this Golas over here. But we learned we had to share that they worked so hard that they did labor equal to 400 years in the years that they were there. And they got paid to get paid overtime. So you, so got a whole cheshman, remember that year? Yeah, but then we came out, not like that, we said it was, that's why we have to do. Shkala, whatever it was. Says the Haggadah, you would think then that a man on the level of Rabbi Akiva, he doesn't have to talk about Yitzhak and Shrayim. Because he could have just got us out of there in a, in a whip. He could have just got us like that. So you would think, no, my sub Rabbi Akiva, we have to tell a story. Even Rabbi Akiva, who could have taken us out in the flash, he, even he, I feel kulam chachamim, kulam nevainim, kulam yoidim, as kala Torah, even if you know all 50, it's still mitzvah lasav there. Even though you think, my Shabbenu said, I'm not the man for the job, you do the job, you could get the man in the flesh. No, even such a person, even someone who is kal yikar, ra and is 
Shlach no biatishlach, Saifi Tevois Echad, Rosh Tevois, Nun, Shari Bina, and then we could say 400 even there. Let's take a look at that inside, look at number 13. Vafilu Klonu Chachamim says the Chida, Perish Hara Mahari David, that. Why did Hashem have to take us that early? Because if we would have waited there one more moment, we would have fallen to the point of no return and we never would have got out. Says the Chida, the reason is Moshe. Why is Moshe the Goyal Yisrael? Because he was able to be Masig, 49 levels of Kedusha. And Le'umasam, his strength was strong to remove us from the 49 levels of Toma. But Chas Hashem, if we would have fallen to the... Now we understand, why is the 50th level the point of no return? You ever wonder? Why? 49 I could come out, and 50 I can't come out? Why? Because 49 I have someone to take me out. That's who? Moshe. And, but 50th, nobody could take us out. Now, by the way, I'll just add, and I couldn't find this, that's why it's not on the sheet. Why does it say, Ani, right? Ani v'loi malach, ani v'loi saraf, who did makas b'chayrois? Why? Because the b'chayrim of Mitzrayim, they were on the 50th level of Toma. And therefore, Moshe Rabbeinu couldn't do Makas B'chayrois. He had a, only the Rebbe Hashem could do it. Because the Rebbe Hashem is the 50th level, only he can knock off the B'chayrim. Okay, but I couldn't find it. It's not in the regular Zion. It's not a... Anyone out there that finds where it says the B'chayrim and Mitzrayim are on the 50th level, Tomo, we'll, we'll give you credit in the next year. But <laughs> the Zara says something a little differently. The Zara says that he didn't... The, the B'chayrim were, were so defiled that he didn't even want the Malachim to get defiled with the Bukharim. So Hashem said, I'll, I'll have to clean up myself. But, so then he brings down like this. That's why Moshe Rabbeinu could only take us out from the 49th level of Tumah, but not the 50th le- level of Tumah. But the students of the Ariz are right. The Rabbi Kiva reached the 50th level. And therefore, says the Chida, a Chacham, who's very smart, and says, I know Kala Tarakula, I know even the 50th level of Kedusha. So what do I need to talk about Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim? Even if we would have been there, I would have taken them out. Therefore the Haggadah says, Afilu kulano chachamim, kulano nevoinim. Even if you know kala tara kula b'shleimos. Even if you know the shar nun. Mitzvah aleinu l'sabz Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. And the proof's in the pudding. Even Rabbi Akiva was masabr b'tzhiyas Mitzrayim. Okay, next part. Says the Chidah, now I understand what I heard from my tata when I was a little kid. My father said, my father, Ateras Roshi Abba Mori, was Mefaresh, the Mimer of Chazal, which you see, he doesn't say where it is. That's why we had to like, do a major research project yesterday. Yeah, it says like this, Shlach no is Rabbi Akiva. And the Chida says, I couldn't understand why Rabbi Akiva. The Bishad is like this, Moshe Rabbeinu is saying to Hashem, why are you taking them out early? It's not this man Agula. Elama, you're afraid they're going to fall into the 50th level and no one's going to be able to take them out. Moshe Rabbeinu was a chacham, he said, so send, let Rabbi Akiva take them out. Because even if they fall into the 50th level, Rabbi Akiva could, could remove them. In other words, so everyone's asking, but Rabbi Akiva wasn't born yet. we got another 190 years to get him down here into the world. We have plenty of time to get Rabbi Akiva here. Right? And says the Chida, this is the pshat that I heard from Ateras Reishi, Abba Mori, that... Reb, that's why Moshe Rabbeinu won Rabbi Kiva to take us out of Mitzrayim. And the Remez is, Shlach Nabi Yatishlach, is Rosh Tevos Nun Shin Beis Taf. Nun Share Bina Taf. That means, if he takes us out, we could do our 400 years. And who's going to take us out? Soif Tevos Echad, the one who died saying Echad, who died saying Echad, Rabbi Akiva. Ah, oh, says the Chida and me, the simpleton, the Hedyoit. Yeah? He writes, now we understand what it means. Call Yakar Rasa Enoi is Rabbi Akiva. The Remez is Rabbi Akiva got the 50th level. And the Remez is Koil is the Gematria 50. He got all 50. And then says the Chida, after many years, I saw that none other than the students of the Arizal say the same shot. And I was very happy. Olatz, Libi, Bashem. This is the Pshat. Shlach Nabiya Tishlach. Send Rabbi Akiva, he has a 50th level, he could take us out, even if we fall to the point of no return. Rabbi Isai. And now we could explain, Rabbi Isai, why Rosh Hashim Yechai was able to say that the Torah will never be forgotten. 
Why? Because Rav Shemaychai was a Talmud of Rabbi Akiva, so he also had, of course we know Rav Shemaychai had the Sharnon, that's what we say in the Zemer. He had the Soyed Chamishim, so therefore he knows that even if Kali Yisrael fall to the point of no return to the 50th level of Tumah, he'll ensure Loisi Shachach Mi Pizari, he'll never be forgotten. Because he could be malos even from the 50th level of Tamar. And now, good Shabbos for real. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.